Welcome to the Hi. Epic Fantasy Podcast. <laughs> Through all those technical difficulties. This is how we fill our days. We're up and rolling. Uh, I'm Margie Long. I write the books. This is my beautiful wife, Becca. I'm who is making haikus. R.M. Long. R.M. Long. B.M. Long. B.M. Long. No, don't Not be B.M. Don't be B.M. <laughs> <laughs> nope, B.M. doesn't work. B.M. doesn't work. Nope. Speaking of bodies. <laughs> oh, speaking of bodies. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> This has been a week of bodies. Oh. Well, like, I... Oh, so yeah. So, you I had like, an Arosti like, appointment. What did we do? I had an Arosti appointment. Mm-hmm. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Arosti is We're a, not going to tell you what the Ackerman mm, NIM actually stands for. It stands for something? Arosti does? Yes. Those are all individual words. Oh, wow. Yes. I could never remember that. Mm-hmm. I can't remember... Argle. Um, that's my... That's R-G-L. Oh, well, it's like, is is that, that? That's yeah. the sweater type, but nope. that's Argyle. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. I'm sorry. So it's late. A Rosti is is chiropractor uh, meets physical therapist. Mm-hmm. It's soft tissue repair. Yeah, and so you and fascia release. You herniated your back. My now, L5S1. Now disc. several months ago. It's been almost three full months. Oh my word! But I I did something un. Well, that I don't. We don't know. I'm I'm fairly certain you've got like a bulged disc or oh, a strained. I'd have to. Is that your diagnosis? No, I would have to. I've not done any kind of diagnosing you. Uh, so I'm not allowed to diagnose that injury because you. I can are, give you recommendations. Probably should. Yeah, I could do that. So I've been. I went to a Rosti, which is a, a type of doctor, to get exercises to stretch out and things like that because my back would not stop hurting after like mm-hmm. three four weeks. Welcome to the club. Uh Uh-huh. I know. I know. Um, And so, last two episodes, uh, I made you... Look like a fool. Yes. (laughs) Because because I did not know... You you did not know my nerdy things. Oh, yeah. So, this is now my opportunity to not know your nerdy things. So, you're just making it even. Yes. Okay. So, here's the deal. We're going to play a game where my beautiful wife, who... Is a physical trainer, uh, uh, personal trainer. Excuse me, personal trainer. Personal it's, trainer. My bad. Works at Gold's There are other gym. things that I do, but uh, that's the that's the one title we're going to play off of today. You manage lots of coach, coaches. Uh-huh. You you are you know physical fitness. I do. Unlike your nerdy husband who who didn't know his bicep from his tricep. Those are muscles, and so we're going to play a game <laughs> called uh, New Muscle Who Dis. Oh, okay. So. Um, so, I'm ready. I have the quiz. So I have sent Becca a quiz, um, a, a internet quiz on muscle groups. I do not know muscles or quizzes, but it's all over uh, this guy right mm. here. So if you are listening to this podcast later, I'm, I'm pointing, uh, showing there's right an now. Anatomic, there's, a, there's the anterior view of the anatomical position. The front view. Right. The front and view. so we're looking at. And so it's Top numbered to bottom, one, one through fifteen. 15. So I'll, that's like not even a quarter. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best to describe <laughs> where the muscle is after okay. you ask me oh, right. the number. Okay, so I'm ready. All right. So I'm what ready. I'd really like to do in addition to this is oh, have no. you read the muscle names out loud. Okay. So I want you to tell me which one you think it is. So we're looking at muscle number ten. Okay, number ten uh, is on the arm. Mm-hmm. I see that, and this man it's on the his left arm mm-hmm. and it looks like it's under the elbow on the outside that looks like where With, it is. when you're standing in the anatomical position which correct means you're, thumbs out mm-hmm. okay thumbs your out palms are facing forward okay and so, so the, the names for this are trapezius brachioradialis and a I'm made dying. up one <laughs> a made up thing that does mm-hmm. not exist sternocleidomastoid Yes. And which one do you think that one is? Uh, okay. Uh, trapezius. Okay, no. This is a trice, tricep. I'm going to go with uh, the first one, trapezius. Okay. And we're going to put it in there. And, and we're going to say next because it'll tell us eventually. Oh, okay. So I don't think it'll tell you the answer right, oh, right, now. A, right away. Oh, okay. Uh, no. N- no. I thought you might get this one right. Okay, muscle number the 10. Brachioradialis. Brachial radialis. So the reason I thought you might think of that is because there's the radius and ulna. Nope. And it's attached. <laughs> nope. No. You have uh, the weight. radius. <laughs> you have. If you ha- if you hold your hands out in front of you, mm-hmm. and there's 
two bones, one that's on your thumb side and one that's on your pinky side. Right. And if you rotate your palm down, the bone that rotates over As the top does. is your radius. Okay. So radialis rotates and the brachioradialis is I, the one. I, first that's off, that. I am flattered. <laughs> <laughs> that you thought I knew that. I thought you might know what your radius and your ulna were. Okay. Once again, well, no. Oh, man, babe. Okay, next one. Bring it on. What number, oh. what number are we dealing with now? This is in the reverse order, so I'm going to give you the muscle name, and you're going to tell me which number it is. Oh, so it's not number no. 10, but it's not number 10. Okay, what is uh, it? The what? vastus medialis is indicated by number 14, oh. 15, or 13. Okay, so each of those are in the leg yes. that I'm looking at here on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, 13 is on the outside, 14 is on the inside of the top part of the leg above the knee, mm -hmm. and then 15 is on the bottom. So what's the name of the muscle again? Uh, the vastus medialis. Vast medialis. Vastus, vastus medialis. medialis. I'm going to go mm. with the biggest one and that's which one because vast means large okay so which one is that 14 okay is it 14 oh it didn't tell you oh no that's funny okay babe so which which, which one is it do no. you know do i know i'm gonna tell you the wrong one this is your jam um i'm gonna say with 14 is correct because medialis is in the middle of the body yes okay mm -hmm. yes okay. oh okay so this one's you'll get this one technically i'm correct Technically, you're correct. Okay. The tibialis anterior is indicated by number 14, 15, or 13. Oh, it's going to tell us at the end. It's going to ask you what number. Oh, yeah. and so mm -hmm. we're trying to find all three. Oh, tibialis anterior. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 14 is of the inside of the thigh. I'm going to guess tibialis. Anterior. That's going to be 13, which is the outside all one. Right. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, but I almost gave you this answer earlier i was like what's this okay no that's and the one by your shin bone mm -hmm. not your shin muscle mm -hmm. but the tibialis anterior that's what it's called mm -hmm. yep. sure is mm -hmm. that's the name of okay, that which one. muscle is the trapezius didn't we just say this uh you got it wrong okay because it was the breaky oh so ooh, you can number ooh. five number ten or number four okay 10 again really? is you in don't the, know this one 10 is in the arm this one this is the one we just did and this is one I just got wrong. Yeah. So it's number ten, which is in the arm. The arm no, that the arm. was that was the brachial. That radialis. was the wrong one that I chose. Number five. Then number is, five. Uh, on the little model we're looking at, okay. it, like your collarbone muscle, the one right above there. Oh, I was. Um, I've already pushed it. He pushed, it. and it didn't tell you. You're right. It's five. It's the one. <gasps> it's your traps. <sighs> okay. Your traps are right here. Okay. So, so whenever you do like any kind of shrugging, uh, your traps. This one's not. It's not giving us the answer. So it's a good thing that I know these. Okay. Okay. Number last one, number last one, last six one. is pointing to. Oh, you better know this one. Uh oh. Okay. Number the pectoralis major, the biceps brachii, or the deltoid. Okay. Number six is the deltoid. Okay. It's you, on that's the a shoulder. freebie. It's no, but I need a freebie. No, the question <laughs> is, why is it called a deltoid? Uh, because it has two points of insertion. Oh, babe. <laughs> I'm what gonna... does delta stand for? Triangle. Uh-huh. Okay, because it looks like a triangle. Triangle, because when it's cut off the body. Why would you laid... cut it off the body? <laughs> it's, a tri... it's a triangle. We've, it's a delta. We've entered right? Game of Thrones type violence delta. here. Yeah. Delta and is so a triangle. It, yeah, and when it's you... got three sides. Yeah, okay. There and you go. when you remove this muscle from, from body. the body, yeah. which mm. you should not do. Which, okay, which muscle is number three? So number three's name is? Number three looks like on this guy that we're looking at here. Oh, this like one you won't jaw. know. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll read these. I'll read these out loud. This will be the last one that we mm. do here. Okay. Uh, orbicularis oris, frontalis, or Orbicularis oculi. Mm. Okay, set. Uh, which is number three? It's on the, the lips. It's, it looks like the lips. And so oculi would mean eyes to me. Oris would mean a friend of ours that belongs to Oris. It, well, I'm, that oh, was a joke. Aura. Okay. I was and like, frontalis, I don't. I think frontalis Just is a made up one. word. So I'm going to pick orbilis. Orbicularis oris, and I am not told the answer. You know the answer though. What is it? I, you know, honestly, I can't quite tell what <sighs> it's pointing to. 
I'd have to look it up. Oh, that's man. the one. Like I don't train that muscle. That's the one that you are unfamiliar but with. But I'm not gonna say. Okay. I'm gonna find out. So here's here's the deal. Thank you. You're welcome. Did I get two right? I'm not sure you got any of them right. I think I got two. No, you got the anterior tibialis. I got one. Tibialis anterior, yeah. You got one right out of the 25 we did. Okay. I'm just kidding. Uh, No, we did like nine. I'm trying to copy and paste this. Question in seven. Okay. so I'm pretty sure I know what it is. but So here's why, other than to even the score, because... I did make you. I did make you say mm-hmm. my nerdy things, mm. and I did a terrible job just now of knowing your nerdy things. I'm not good at that. Um, so I'm trying to get better, right? I am trying, not just not just in uh, knowing knowing my muscles because I need to. Because every adult should know what the major muscles. I'm sorry, that was kind of a dig, wasn't it? A little bit. I taught you though. You did. You drew them on me. I did. And I still don't know them. Um, you know your, you now know bicep versus tricep. Yes. And you can look that up if you do not know. And you'll. It's something that you should probably know. But and you can feel, you can, you're not alone. You're not because alone. Because I did not know it. Uh, so remember, uh, big on episode one, when you were like, Ronald, you, I'm really surprised that you don't have more one star reviews. More one star reviews. Uh, well, I do now. Oh, um, cool. It's, <laughs> it's this so, one. Oh, mm, okay. We're seeing the muscle. So it was a mouth, the mm-hmm. mouth muscle. It's a mouth muscle. I would not have, I would not have said it was a mouth muscle. Um, so. Oh, that's awesome. I, the germs. I, I did not know, like, the, the launch, as we talked about, did not go well. I launched a ministry guide instead of a book. At first, I sent out into the Amazon world. Oh, yeah. I was like, what are you talking the about? The ministry guide. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, and then everybody got the wrong, like the self got the wrong one. So it, it kind of fixed. But then mm-hmm. once I actually got the book, I did did not edit it as well. Right, it was quick, quick production. Oh, it was production. so quick. And so the first two reviews that were not did not have anything to do with um, the fact that they did not get a book mm. were uh, kind, but low mm. in in the stars. I told mm. you like three kind of hurts my heart. Yeah, the nicer one was a three, and then and then another one was a two. And so it's like oh, I know. And so for me, they're saying like, hey, there are a lot, not not a few, a lot of errors in this book. It hurts my soul. Yeah, I mean, I remember proofreading your papers in college i am a terrible proofreader of myself yeah which is why i've I, have the, an editor the book is now in the editor's hands mm. so she's got it but i've also run it through several different programs to help catch it so it's it's uploadable now mm. uh you can update it and actually in my email that i sent out this morning i kind of explained how to do that mm-hmm. in case people needed to know how to update the book so now they can update the book and uh if you are listening out there and you haven't read shadows of redact Maybe read it and then leave an extra kind review. Like, be more kind than you normally would oh. for my soul. No, um, no, my editor's hopefully going to get it back to me, and that'll be much cleaner for you later on down the road. But for right now, it should be more than readable. And hopefully I am uh, showing people that I am functionally literate now. Are we going to read these Three reviews. star reviews. Um, it's okay. We can do it next time. <laughs> we will. We can do it next time. One reference being a retired kindergartner teacher oh. and being disappointed. So imagine the kindergarten teacher being disappointed mm. in you. We're on that level right now. We've arrived, We've arrived there. It's rough. But, okay. So I could choose. I could choose to be bitter. But I'm not. I wondered where this was going. This, this is where this is going. Sign. So I, uh, I'm not going to get bitter. I'm going to get better, right? Right. Right. So that's so. This is me going. Okay, my next book that I'm currently working on right now and trying to get figured out. Uh, okay, we're going to make sure that I'm on time. Going to make mm. sure I finish it and it ed- has it goes through the proper editing before release. And that it. nobody gets hurt in the process. Oh man. Let's just say during that process, I couldn't take care of myself oh no so and priorities were right. you my wife yeah. for sure i am part-time author like this is fun side job mm-hmm. right and so this is it was definitely i definitely did what i needed to do and so the the book suffered for it and that's mm-hmm. okay because it's going to be better but i'm not bitter at people who are leaving poor reviews because mm-hmm. i think i earned these 
Mm. These mm. were these were earned. So I'm not going to get bitter. I'm going to get better. So that's the that's the plan. That's the goal. And you know that the difference is I. I. Yeah. That means it's like you. Yeah. It, the choice is yours. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's mm-hmm. deep. Have you, have you not heard that before? I have not. Actually. Oh. <laughs> that's thus is the prize I'm, look on I my face. I live on Pinterest sometimes. You've so you've seen this way more than I have seen that. Have. Yeah, remember, and I have a shirt that says um, "Less bitter, more glitter." I mm, yeah, and the difference there is G L. <laughs> um. So definitely, yeah. Not uh, gonna get gonna get better. Not yeah. better. That's the plan. How? Uh, okay. So I've told you I have a process. So I I'm a poor proofreader of myself. Mm-hmm. So I, whenever I finish a book, I'm supposed to put it through my programs that the robots find the grammar mistakes, mm-hmm. but they can only find so many. Then I, I have Siri read it to me. So I listen to it. Um, and I usually catch some mistakes at that point. And then I send it to two volunteers who read it. One for grammar errors and one for lore and story continuity. Lore. Oh, I am very thankful for this person. Mm. If you're listening, you know who you are and you're amazing. Thank you. So they, they do this for me, and they'll go things like, Ronald, you mentioned this, but then it didn't happen. Like, oh, you're right. I should have fixed that. So I'm going to give them enough lead time to where they can read over it and enjoy it, and then go to my professional line editor, who doesn't edit for story. They just they print out. They print my physical book, mm. and they, they go line by line and edit it that way. And then So that's how I'm going to get better is by – well, I've been t- – so right now I'm sitting at 32,000 words of my book. And so I think I'm in, I'm in a good position to finish on time, meet mm-hmm. my deadlines, and, and get the edits done. That's the goal. Mm. So that's what I'm going to get better. And by dictating every day, that's what I've been trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. And so I've been working on this book now for two weeks, three weeks. and I'm at, It's been not very long. And so I'm already at 30,000 words. So hopefully that's the plan. That's the plan. Hopefully can, that's the plan. Well, okay, that is, that the, is plan. the plan. Hopefully I can implement the plan. Okay, that's the goal. Uh, this is now part of the show where I show you a book cover. Um, oh me! Oh, but I always feel so bad. Oh, you shouldn't feel bad. Even I though, mean, because y'all are amazing. Oh yeah. Just because it doesn't fall in my genre. Just because it's not. I feel your like genre. I'm judging you guys. No, no, no. Y'all are amazing. Know that. So actually, this is a friend of mine, Meg Cowley. Uh, have I? You have not met Meg Cowley. Oh, Did okay. You, because no, she no, no. lives, as they say, on the other side of the pond. Oh. She's one of my UK friends. Mm-hmm. Okay, so she has just released a book called Court of Shadows. Oh, I like the title. I like the ca- title, Court of Shadows. Mm-hmm. It's actually the second book in her series. Mm. The first one is uh, 99 cents right now, but here's the second one's kind of lines. Evil returns to Pelennor. The Court of Shadows will reign. The revolution has begun. So epic war. Oh, yeah. Some intrigue. But I was going to say it's like the it's the beginning of the conflict. I would think some like political things going uh-huh. down. That's, that's a, court of shadows mm, is what I would think. Mm-hmm. Is there any magic in your book? Uh, yeah. The first one mentions Her dragons, says, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So so whenever you get a hmm, out of Becca, like that's a <laughs> mm, that's high praise. Like, yeah. you know, so that's I'd listen like, to a book might, that had magic in it once. This is something I would consider. <laughs> this is something. Uh, Bitter Blue. That was the oh, name yeah, of the no, book? and I just finished another one. You did. Um, oh, geez. I don't know. I'd have to show you guys later, but no, yeah. I generally le- read books that your are, sleep. are a bit more straightforward yeah, and less storyline. And more love triangle. Uh, yeah. No, this one had one for sure. Mm-hmm. But norm- no, normally, I re- like right now, I'm reading leadership books. Yeah. No, that's and, and that's good. how to make small talk. And that's how to small talk. <laughs> that's the one. Do you know to small talk? I need to small talk. I need to small talk. And this person who re- is reading the book sounds like she also needs some tips on how mm. to small talk. The inflection's a little off. Yeah, well. Yeah, but that's okay. That's audiobook for you sometimes. It sounds like Siri. <laughs> so props to all those people out there doing a really great job. Uh-huh. Oh. Someone locked my photo. <laughs> you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to set the notifications. Turn to, off the notifications. Yeah, yeah, I did. So I'm glad I'm not more popular tonight. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for listening and for joining in with us on Crazy Technical Difficulties and Lots of Fun. I'm going to go put the... I actually... I insta-storied that I was grilling your chicken before we came up here. Oh, that's funny. So I think I did it right. I hope so. 
it, it because smells that's good. like my my week's worth of protein i know i want to go make sure i did it right and so really i tried i tried real hard okay i'm trying to help you babe <laughs> It's a team. Hey guys, my name is RG Long. This is my beautiful and wonderful wife, Becca. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. And babe, do you have any last things you need to say? It's time for bed. It's time for bed. Go home and go to bed. Everyone, enjoy the journey. <laughs> I love you. I love you. It's silly.